you guys just saw we took like some little clips and we did some photos we've had a few appointments so far to see our little baby who is due in february february 14th valentine's day so we're so excited about it of course you guys know our last name is love and so everyone in our families is like super excited the love baby due on love day so that's super fun and exciting but yeah it feels weird saying it out loud and telling you guys because we have kept this secret for so long. It's felt like forever, yeah. to say the least. It has definitely felt like so long, especially when your job is talking about your life. And this is like a huge part of my life, like the biggest part of my life right now. And I haven't really been able to tell you guys what's going on. So that's been really hard. So I'm really happy that you guys know now. Of course, now you know, but now is the time where I'm like feeling a little bit better. So it doesn't even really matter. Like the the past few months I've been like feeling pretty crappy so I haven't been as motivated to like edit or film or post on Instagram and stuff like that but now I'm starting to feel better I'm not gonna get too crazy into like symptoms or like what I've been experiencing I'll do that in probably another video but right now we're just gonna go over like some of the stuff that we've been doing I guess so yeah we are due on February 14th like we said I am 14 weeks today actually so baby is the size of an orange. Navel orange. Or a baseball. Patrick's fave. So we'll briefly touch on a few things. First, like how and when we found out. I believe it was June. Early June is when we found out. And of course, like if you guys follow my channel or follow us on Instagram, you might know that we experienced a missed miscarriage back in February, which was really difficult and just something that, of course, we never thought we would go through. I'm sure no one ever thinks that they would go through that. So of course, like after I had my DNC surgery, I like needed a few, a couple months just to like process that. And then we were trying, I guess, to get pregnant again. And I'm like very, very, very in tune with my body. And especially after experiencing something like that, I just really wanted to know what my body was doing. So yeah. we pretty much knew. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, exactly. it definitely wasn't like the first time where, you know, there was like her keeping the pregnancy test a secret to kind of give yeah. me a surprise and getting like the reaction on camera and stuff like that. it was still exciting definitely um, but it was just different which I actually have a video of us finding out I'm not sure if I want to share that video or not but we'll see if it's here you can see it if not it's okay but yeah basically I was tracking my ovulation just through an app I have a pretty regular cycle and um, I feel like all of you who mostly are watching this are females and understand that kind of thing like I said, very in tune with my body. So I pretty much knew exactly, although it is very strange how every pregnancy is different. Obviously I was pregnant back in January, but the symptoms that made me know I was pregnant in January were not the symptoms that made me know I was pregnant this time around. So basically I missed my period. My period's pretty accurate, I guess I should say. Even after my DNC surgery, once I got it, I had two periods and they were pretty accurate. So when I I was off by a day. I had a pretty good feeling and the main thing that made me know that I was pregnant this time around was very, very, very vivid dreams, which is so weird. But I remember in January, I had such vivid dreams when I was pregnant. I remember waking up to like this crazy dream and I was like, you might be pregnant. <laughs> and then, but that was really it. And I was, but I didn't 
test for like a couple days and like Patrick said we it was more it was, of a discussion I guess than yeah. just like a surprise but, yeah which is fine I mean we got to find out together and right I nice. mean it was different like I said in my video where I talk about my feelings after experiencing a miscarriage and everything like pregnancy is not gonna necessarily be what I wanted it to be or it's gonna be everything we want it to be but you know what I mean like your expectations change yeah after yeah. something like that telling your spouse telling your friends and family everything comes with anxiety and worry and not wanting to get your hopes up and in my case like not wanting to feel like an idiot which sounds stupid because everyone I'm sure is like oh my god you don't look like an idiot but I'm sure if you've been through something like this like you do have those feelings that your mind tells you so this time I just wanted to find out together I didn't want to make it a big production and tell Patrick and like video it and all that well we did video it but you know what I mean. It was more of like a I'm excited but I'm really scared kind of moment. But yeah, everything has been really good so far. So we're really excited and relieved about that. We ended up having our uh, first ultrasound at like around seven weeks. That I think was like the probably the best thing for us because that was when we actually got to not hear the heartbeat, but the technician told us the heartbeat, which I think it was 138 or 139. Yeah. Which that alone was just I mean, I literally remember the moment, literally both of us are just like a oh, huge yeah. sigh of relief and yeah. there were some happy tears in there and it was, it was nice. It was, I think it was kind of what we needed. That was what stopped us from the first one, at least in that room. And so it was nice to get past that milestone together. Of course, this time we saw a little baby on the screen immediately, which was awesome. So here's the first ultrasound. It just looks like a little bean. And like Patrick said, we didn't get to hear the heartbeat, but she told us that it was a good heartbeat and everything. We met with our doctor. That was an early ultrasound. So as you can imagine, the anxiety and worry does not go away. I had many, many days of feeling really good and many, many days of like freaking out and having a breakdown and crying and being worried and having intrusive psychotic thoughts, not psychotic, but like, you know, like, oh my God, everything's wrong. Like it's horrible. Something's gonna happen, you know, that kind of thing. Even though I was experiencing symptoms like nausea and fatigue, anytime that that would even slightly go away my mind would like freak out so we ended up actually scheduling a private ultrasound at I believe like 11 weeks anyway somewhere around that time and that was like the best decision ever yes we did pay I believe like 200 250 I don't know something like yeah. that but honestly it was worth it in my opinion we got so many amazing videos and ultrasound pictures yeah. we got to hear the heartbeat which you guys heard earlier in this video but yeah that was just like so cool and she spent so much time with us explaining yeah. everything it was really calm and like you didn't feel rushed yeah like you get you knew that when you were going in there if you asked like a thousand questions they'd get answered yeah and that was like we so much fun bounce. because that was like the perfect time i'm so happy we did that because that is like the perfect time where you can see your baby doing all these like crazy movements and stuff <laughs> and like now i'm 14 weeks and the baby kind of stopped i mean of course they're moving still but it's more like fluid moments and not like that bouncy craziness which was so cute to see a week later we had our 12 week appointment which we basically just listened to the baby's heartbeat with just the doppler by the way we didn't have an ultrasound our doctor's office only really does two to three ultrasounds during your pregnancy so we won't have another one with them until 20 weeks but with that appointment for 12 weeks we actually opted to do the nipt screening which is like a blood test so they took like seven large vials of blood yeah. i don't know i wasn't looking she was a champ. <laughs> With that, we are able to find out the gender, which they literally sent like four days after that. So we have had gender results for two weeks now, basically, but we have been very good. Patrick doesn't have access to them because they're in my email, but... <laughs> but I wouldn't peek anyways. I like surprises. Yeah, I didn't. So she would probably peek before I would. I, I haven't though. And my mom at, was just over here last night and she's like, did you look? Seriously, did you mm -hmm. look? And I'm like, no, I really didn't. But yeah, so we've had that for two weeks, but we haven't looked at it because we're waiting to find out the gender this Saturday. We're filming this on Tuesday. We'll find out the gender on Saturday and we are so excited. And also all of the genetic testing that they did with that same test came back normal. So that's good. That was like music to our ears also. We should do like a one, two, three countdown and say what we think it's going to be on camera before we have it. Like right now? One, two, three, 
girl. We both think it's a girl. Yeah, we both think it's a girl, but I don't know. I feel like this is my first pregnancy, so it's like, do I think it's a girl because of mother's intuition, you know? Or do I think it's a girl because that's what I think would be easiest for me as a first time mom? And like, I mean, I'll be, we'll be happy with both, yeah. truly, just because it, I mean, it is our first child and we, you know, God willing, we'll, would love to have like more children. So I think we're happy with either, but yeah. I don't know. I've always like, I just have felt like it's a girl. I can't tell if I think it's going to be a girl just because deep down, like I probably want a boy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess girl. We'll see. We'll find out this Saturday. I'm going to film the entire gender reveal, all of the decorations, us finding out our family's reactions. So that'll all be up very, very soon. Of course, like nothing is accurate, but we do have like the old wives tales that we've been keeping track of that say boy or girl. Honestly, those are kind of 50 50. I feel like that's pretty typical, but the Chinese gender chart said boy. The Romsey theory that is like based on your first early ultrasound says girl. She's had to explain all these to me. I yeah. Have no clue. I've been craving like more sweet stuff. So that says girl. I think one of them is like, if you're clumsy, that means boy, but I'm always clumsy, but I guess we'll count it. But anyways, yeah, you guys can put your guesses what gender you think it's going to be down below and that'll be fun. I also wanted to mention before we kind of wrap this video up. I am going to be posting a Q&A over on my Instagram today when you're watching this video because I do plan to go more in depth with things that we don't really necessarily need Patrick here for, like just first trimester stuff. And I'm also going to be doing my first trimester must-haves. It's not a lot of stuff, just things that kind of help me get through. So if you do have any other questions, more specific questions, head over to Instagram and submit your questions there. And once I go through all of them, I will compile a list and film that first trimester Q&A and must-haves video. And then with that being said, also just let me know any future videos that you guys want to see regarding pregnancy or mom life. Is that something you're interested in? Do you want this channel to remain fashion-based or are you okay with mom content? Let me know. I know some people separate their channels and do a vlog channel, but you guys have definitely expressed to me in the past that you like everything all on one channel. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts regarding that. That's pretty much it for this video. We are very excited and there's lots of fun stuff to come. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. That's my, that's my call sign. But yeah, seriously, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys are just as excited as we are to see all of the cute little fun stuff that we have, you know, coming up in our lives. Thank you guys all who have supported me on this journey since you, you know, first saw my miscarriage video or anything like that. I still get messages weekly from that video and from you girls who have watched that, who have experienced that. So I just want to say thank you all for your support throughout that journey or experience, I guess. And also my heart goes out to any of you who are still trying or going through that yourself. Your day will come just like ours has. Of course, every day is still nerve wracking, but we just take it one day at a time and yeah, put our trust in God, I guess. <laughs> if you're religious or if you're not, put it in something else. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, just wanted to say thank you guys. And that's it for today's yeah. video. Bye. Mm -hmm.